this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. You already know what time it is. It's ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. Ammo is the new goal. Everybody's trying to get it. Gold is going down. Ammo is going up. So right now, people, let's talk about ammo. So, uh, you know, when it comes to ammo, people, I like to do a recap of all the ammo and stuff that I have ran into and seen and stuff. Um, you know, I said when this ammo shortage started that you're going to have to do something different than what everybody else been doing. Um, to my, when it comes to ammo, there is no secret. A lot of people, how they've been buying their ammo for the last decade and stuff. Um, to my, you know, everyone can tell you how to get it. Um, everyone can tell you where it's at. But right now, everybody's on the same game plan. Um, to my new people coming in, um, they're looking at the same game plan. Um, you know, everybody's looking at what happened in the past and stuff when it comes to ammo and looking at now when it comes to ammo. Um, to my, each one of these shortages is going to be different. Now, I have told you that when it comes to calibers and stuff like that, I'm talking about, you know, I have seen many couple, you know, few shortages and stuff. And I found out that a lot of people start to catch on as these things go come and go. Um, I remember one shortage where, you know, uh, there was plenty of 40 calibers, but the, all the other ammo uh, calibers and stuff was gone. Your 45s, your 9 millimeters and stuff, your 380s, your 22, all everything. But it was plenty of 40. Until my, you know, deep in that shortage, there was plenty of 40s. So what happened after that? A lot of people looked at what they had, looked at what was still available and stuff. So guess what? When it came to police trade-ins and stuff, firearms and everything, guess what? There were so many warehouses online, so many places that you saw these police trade in, you know, through different manufacturers, and there was 40 caliber. What happened? People bought them up. Um, I remember at one time I bought, I did a, a video, Glock video. I had like four or five 40 caliber Glock 23s and stuff. That's how cheap they was. And so, you know, we had another shortage, and guess what? All the 40 got gone. Why? Because people pretty much diversify the ammo and had, you know, and looked at what was on the shelf last time. And guess what? It's not on the, it's not on the shelf this time during this shortage. Um, you know, right now during this shortage here, um, guess what happened, people? There was a lot of um, different hunting calibers out there. Um, right into this shortage, there was a lot of um, 6.5 um, ammo calibers, um, Creedmoor and stuff like that. There were so many hunting calibers out there. Guess what? People quickly adapted to the 6.5, started buying rifles and all that kind of stuff for that caliber. And it got gone. They hung around Walmart for a long time, the 6.5 Cremo. I was seeing it, seeing that. Um, also, um, it was the um, it was another caliber um, that I, it, it slipped my mind, but it was another caliber that was on the Walmart shelves and stuff. Um, the 450, the 450 Legend, I want to say, yeah, it was the 450 Legend. It was a whole lot of debt. And then people started, you know, getting, you know, rifles and stuff for the 450 Legend and stuff. And I'm talking about these, uh, this is what happened during the ammo shortage and stuff. And, you know, I've been saying for a long time that, you know, what happened in the past might not work in the future. So, you know, right now, I'm to my, I see comments and stuff when you have people are trying to follow someone else's game plan um, that they seen online and social media and stuff like that. The problem is it might not work in your area. And, you know, I know a lot of people frustrated with that. And, you know, I see comments where, you know, that didn't work in my area. You said do this, but that didn't work in my area. You have to look at your own area that you're in and basically see what type of ammo that is available in your, in your area. And then go from there because, you know, um, there's a lot of calibers in other, you know, areas in this country that is plenty available. And I see videos of it. But when I look at other parts of the country and stuff and look at certain calibers, they're gone. If you in a big hunting, a hunting area where there's a lot of hunters and stuff like that, guess what? Your chances of finding a lot of hunting ammo, it's going to be slim. If you're in an area, there's not a lot of hunters and stuff like that. You're going to find more rifle ammo. And, you know, one thing I have really peeped out, a lot of people haven't um, talked about and stuff like that. I've been, I watched some of these videos and stuff, and I could see, I see in some place they got a lot of hunting ammo. But then, you know, I hear the person say, well, you know, there's not a lot of hunters in this area. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Um, you, you have to have a strategy and a plan and stuff like that. So we have hunters in my area are going to places in the state that 
don't have a lot of hunters and stuff and they have plenty of hunting ammo so that's how they're getting it and i told you that you know early on that this shortage is going to pretty much feed on itself a lot of people didn't believe that people i remember in 2019 um in 2019 uh i think it was january it was january 2019 when i was telling people that you know um right now we're gonna have an election that's gonna be coming up and stuff like that go and get your stuff now because we don't know what's gonna happen and you know we don't it could be and i and i said this i got a video and i said as i said it could be anything up to my it could be politics it could be natural disaster it could be anything people to my memo when Hurricane Katrina hit um, down in Texas and stuff like that, and you know how people was you know buying ammo and stuff up. Um, to my you know people houses and homes and stuff was getting robbed. How people was in boats and stuff guarding their homes and everything. How it was a run on ammo in Texas and stuff. People trying to you know just guard all their possessions and everything. And ammo got gone quick. But guess what? The other part of the country that didn't have the flood won't end that, you know, it wasn't, you know, what we wasn't affected if you was in another state and stuff like that. If you weren't near Texas and stuff, you was pretty much weren't affected by it. So it wasn't no reaction. And so, you know, these are some of the things that you have to look at that I had been, you know, pretty much looking at over time and stuff, people. And, you know, I look at my area and I look at, you know, what could be another catalyst down the road and stuff. We can't predict what can happen and stuff. But, you know, when you have this administration that we have now, who's going to make that difficult in the future and stuff and some of the laws that is being put in place now. And I've been telling people, you know, so many ammunition laws and stuff that I'm looking at. A lot of these laws that is passed in the 2A community, you know, on the 2A community people, um, it's very hard to reverse them. You know, it's so many, you know, loopholes and stuff you got to go through. It's so much. And then, you know, it's just so much people. It's hard to reverse these laws. We have to stop them. And then, you know, if you're trying to fight laws that's, that's behind us and the ones that's in front of us, it just make it that much difficult. So a lot of people going to have to change. You know, I, we don't want to have to do background check for ammo and stuff, but could, that could be a real catalyst for a whole lot of people. We see other states that is doing that, and we see how that system, that system is being manipulated and stuff. Um, you know, when this shortage started last year, um, I was talking about, I don't, I think it was New Jersey, Connecticut, something like that had an extra background check on top of the federal uh, FBI background check. They failed. They couldn't handle the volume. But at the same time, the, you know, the FBI background check system was still up. You know, I'm talking about, so, you know, when you look at some of these measures and stuff that they're talking about putting in place and everything, and then you look at the volume and stuff like that, the original background check system ain't failed. It's still there, but you have states putting up these roadblocks, and it's done on purpose, people. This is not an accident what they're doing. They're doing it, they're doing it on purpose. So they can delay you to get between you and your ammo and stuff. And when they talk about ban online ammo, or to my everything that you see me doing right now is you're gonna have to go into the store. You're gonna have to go physically face to face in the retailer and stuff like that. Um, I'm talking about to get your ammo because you're going to have to do a background check or whatever the kind of system or whatever your state going to have that you're going to have to do, but you won't be able to just order it and stuff like that. And right now dealing with what people have to deal with, you know, going to all these retailers, standing in line, being there on truck days, a lot of people can't make it. A lot of people can't make it. And on these videos, what you're seeing, you're seeing after the truck days and stuff, I'm talking about what is left. That is what is left like right after the truck days before the next truck come. This ammo that you're seeing me finding this stuff is gone, people. It, it, it's going to be gone. So it's like a cycle. It's a cycle every week when it comes to the, the ammo retailers and stuff like that. Um, what is left from the truck that people didn't buy? Guess what? A few days after that, before the next truck. Um, guess what? Some of these trucks come once a week. And, you know, you got a whole week that you have people coming in and buying whatever's left. And then, you know, by the time, you know, someone try to come and find some ammo, they, the shelves is empty. So it don't look like the shelves are being stocked, period. Or they're not, not getting ammo. It's just that it's being bought up and everything. So I kind of want to talk about that and stuff like that to recap and show you the videos and stuff of some of the ammo that we kind of ran into over time and everything. So, you know, with that said, people, Keep getting your ammo. Have a plan, people. You got to have have your plan in place. Look at your area. Look at your demographic and stuff like that. And if you do that and you you, you look at what you got going on, you will get some ammo and stuff, people. So this is D Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. 
like and subscribe thank you for watching